Hey everyone, this week it is Those Pesky Gnomes' first birthday! Yay! Thank you to all of our subscribers, all the people who watch us and all our incredible guest vloggers, all the people who comment on our videos and chat to us and email us and have generally made this first year exceptionally wonderful and memorable. I am so proud of my fellow dames and I am really honoured to be a part of this wonderful group. So, as we're one year on, let me reintroduce myself and say hello to all our viewers, old and new. I'm Jen, I'm 19 years old and I'm currently in my first year of university. And today I'm going to be answering some of the questions that you've sent us. Boring answer, but no, there are plenty of fictional characters who I think are incredible and amazing, but none that I really see myself in. People not tagging images correctly, like... You post a picture, you tag what is in the picture. It's a common courtesy to other users, as some people have blocked certain tags, okay? Some not so important, like I've blocked the shark tag because I'm fucking terrified of sharks, but other people have blocked tags specifically because they trigger of them, so please tag your image posts. That, and people constantly being douches, but that's a problem in real life too, and not really specific to Tumblr. Hoverboards. People who enjoy true and full of quality on hoverboards. And everyone should have a wardrobe um, like Thingy's wardrobe in Clueless where like, it picks your outfit for you. That was really cool. When my flatmate recognised me from telly. <laughs> I had very little choice in the matter. Um, my sisters and my mum are all amazing feminist ladies so I grew up in a very feminist environment. All feminism should include all women, which should be obvious but needs saying as feminism has been dominated by the concerns of middle class white women for pretty much forever. Hi Neesa, uh, I love Jenny Eclair quite a lot, she's hilarious and assertive and also I think comes across as just a really warm person and she always has cool glasses and red lipstick and she's got like a really dirty laugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, dames are awesome. My journey into feminism has involved uncomfortable and really necessary realisations about my own privilege. It has also been the most supportive and comforting journey ever. To realise that there are other people out there who are dealing with the same issues as you and see where you're coming from. To realise that it is not just you who is mad as hell over some things um, has been like a really powerful experience. Um, my favourite day moment is when we were filming um, for the Cherry Healy show for BBC3, but not the actual filming bit, although that was really fun. Um, my favourite bit was just getting to like jam about with you ladies, my fellow dames, and oh my god, my stomach hurt so much from laughing by the end of the day. Best thing is having loads of interesting conversations and support and like making new friends and cool feminism stuff. And the worst bit is the sheer energy it takes to weed kill all of the trolls out of the comments. Is everything too broad of an answer? Um, I can tie a cherry stalk in a knot in my mouth and I'm quite good with face paint uh, and I can fit my fist in my mouth which isn't really a talent but I can still do that and two out of those three were me having a big mouth related so I should probably work on developing some new talents chin up Jen everything is not going to be total balls forever and you will make it through and then you will discover loads of really awesome people who are definitely worth your time. This is a good one, thank you Steph, because um, for those of you who are new to the channel it sort of explains a lot. Um, Becca basically deserves credit for setting this up. She, India and Holly knew each other through uni and I knew them a little bit through one of my sisters. Um, Becca contacted me and Holly and India through Facebook about setting up what was eventually to become those pesky dames. And I invited Emily, who I was already good pals with because I knew she would like kick ass. Um, and then when India's superhero lifestyle meant that she couldn't keep up with Damien anymore, we recruited Subi, 
by advertising that we had like a, a dame vacancy on Tumblr. I already knew CB a little bit through Tumblr um, and I had seen her rocking out at Slutwalk. Um, and that is exactly the same way that we managed to sign up Steph, um, who asked these questions. Thanks, Steph. Um, you can also see Steph's videos. Um, she vlogs for us on a semi-regular basis. So check her out, description bar, you know it. This year we've really seen those pesky dames kind of take off with quite a lot of press coverage, which I think is really impressive for us and something that we're all really proud of because, you know, we've, this is our year's anniversary, like this week. Um, so it's kind of amazing and incredible that people have listened to what we've been saying when we've not even been saying it for a year. Um, those pesky domes has really made me a lot braver and a lot more confident in myself and my opinions, as well as teaching me a lot of stuff just from listening to our guest vloggers and the other dames' opinions on things. I used to be quite apologetic for my feminism um, because I knew that a lot of people found my opinions like stupid and quite laughable and now I know what I believe in and I will fight tooth and nail for it. Being on the Sherry Healy show was a really great experience. It brought us so much publicity and attention, which I'm really grateful for. And I think it also made us a lot closer, not just as dames, but as friends too. So we got to hang out in person a lot and oh, these ladies are just so amazing and incredible. And it was a really wonderful achievement for all of us. The only downside is that now people only want to talk about our armpits. <laughs>